Hi, it's Noel from creationeffects.com, and I have a new After Effects template to show you today. It's called Grunge Effects, and it has a bunch of effects in it to give your footage some very unique, hyper-stylized grunge looks. You can see the image is made up of a collage of different textures, and it comes with a library of texture photos, so you can choose different textures and get a bunch of different looks. Or you can also just use one of the presets, uh, so you just drop in your footage, and you can export something like you're seeing right now. And all the effects are customizable using slider controls. All right, I'm going to show you how to use a template. It's not that hard. Uh, I'll show you the presets first, and then I'll show you how to make your own grunge effect with your own photos. The first thing you'll need to do is unzip the zip file. If you're on a PC, be sure to right-click the zip file and choose the Extract All option. And that's important because you might get errors in After Effects if you don't do that. And if you're on a Mac, you don't need to worry about that. You can just double click it. So once that's open, uh, just open the project file in After Effects. And you'll see some instructions in there. Uh, you'll actually find instruction comps like these at the top of all of the main comps. So the first thing it tells you to do here is import your footage and put it into one of these Your Footage comps here. So I'll go to Import, and I'll get this clip of a guy breakdancing. And it's an HD clip, so I'll drag it into the Your HD Footage comp. Now, to get the best results, we want this footage to have a good, even dynamic range. So that means the brightest areas should be pure white, and the darkest areas should be pure black. So I'll add a Levels effect. You can go to Effect, Color Correction, and Levels. And you can see there's this big blank area with no information here on this side of the histogram, uh, which means this footage is underexposed. So I'll correct that by just sliding this arrow inward to where the wave starts. And I'll do the same on this side. So now our footage is properly exposed and the final effect will work better. I'll open the HD folder, and I want to show you the presets first. So I'll open the Grunge Effects folder. There are five presets here. To preview what they look like with your footage, open this comp, uh, Grunge Effects Preview, and then just unhide any of these layers to preview the presets. When you find one you like, you can double click it to open up the comp, or you can find it in its folder up here. And when you open it, you'll see a layer near the top called Control Layer. Select that, and then in your Effect Controls panel, you'll see dozens of controls for customizing the look of the effect. If you're not seeing this panel, just go to Window and click on Effect Controls. I'm not going to go into detail about these controls. Uh, each of the presets are built a little differently, and they each have their own controls. So you can just play with them and see what they do. And these are completely optional, so you don't have to do anything with them. Uh, you might just want to stick with the default settings, and that's fine. Um, they all have an option to turn on an outline, uh, which will make the subject in your video more recognizable. And you should see some threshold controls, and those will let you adjust how much of each texture you see. You may also see these turbulent displace controls, and these will distort the image a little bit, randomly on each frame so that it's always just slightly changing shape. And that adds to the whole handcrafted appearance uh, since it will look a little less perfect and the lines will be a little less accurate. I also want to show you this layer here, stop motion effect. Um, all the presets have this layer. What it does is add subtle variation to each frame. So it will randomly rotate, reposition, and scale each frame to give it that crude stop-motion animation look. And you can adjust the settings and intensity of the effect using the controls on the layer. Uh, another important element of the stop-motion look is a low frame rate. And it's important to note that all of these presets are set to 10 frames per second, which gives it that choppy look. If you want to change the frame rate, uh, just have the comp open and go to the Composition menu and choose Composition Settings, and you can set the frame rate in there. 
If you like that choppy low frame rate look, uh, but you need your final video to be a higher frame rate, like if it's going to be broadcast, um, then you can create a new comp and make it 29.97 frames per second or whatever, and then drag the preset into that new comp. The last thing I'll show you about these presets are the dynamic textures. All these presets are made with different textures. Uh, so we got scribbles and vintage topography and watercolor textures. So if I open one of these pre-comps, we can see what a dynamic texture is. A dynamic texture is just one or more texture images being randomly blended and moved and flipped and rotated so that no two frames are the same. Uh, if you want, you can customize the dynamic textures in your grunge effect. Uh, you can just open the pre-comp and select the control layer. And you've got several options here. You can also unhide this adjustment layer and it's got a bunch of color correction effects on there. Um, if you want, you can duplicate the texture layers and change the blending modes. Uh, there's a lot of different things you can do to get different looks. Now going back to what I said about changing the frame rate, uh, if you increase the frame rate of a preset, those textures are going to be changing on every frame, and so it's going to look a little chaotic. Uh, it's going to be very fast and flickery, and I've had tons of questions about how to reduce that flicker or jitter. And uh, even at a low frame rate, people sometimes want something smoother. So I've added this effect in this adjustment layer called Time Warp. If you want to slow down the textures and make your animation smoother, you can open up all the dynamic texture pre-comps in your grunge effect, and just unhide the adjustment layer, and unhide this Time Warp effect, and uh, then you can play with the speed property here. And that will make the textures kind of slowly blend into each other. Alright, let's move on to how to create your own grunge effect. So in this folder, you have the ability to choose your own textures and make a custom grunge effect, uh, which could be useful if you want to make something that's unique or if you want to use textures that fit with the uh, theme of your video. Like if your video is about kids, you could use children's paintings or uh, you could use graffiti textures for an urban-themed video. Uh, so you get the idea. There's a bunch of textures to choose from if you look in this textures folder here. Or you can import and use your own. Once you have a uh, texture image, you can open this folder named Put Your Photos Here and drag the image into these three pre-comps. If you want to use the same image in all three pre-comps, that's fine. Uh, or you can drop in a different image into each. Uh, just be sure when you put it in there, I'll grab one of these grunge textures here. Be sure that the image fills up the entire frame. So scale it up if you need to. And then you can go ahead and open your grunge effect here. And this is kind of like the other presets. We have a control layer, so you can customize the look of the effect using these controls. Uh, there's a stop motion effect layer, and you have three dynamic textures here, uh, which use the images that you chose. So you should see three levels of texture up here. A light texture that appears wherever the footage is brightest, a medium brightness texture that appears wherever the footage has a medium brightness level, and then a dark texture that appears over the darker areas of your footage. Uh, if any of those textures appear too dark or too light, just double click the texture to open it up. And then remember we have that optional effects layer, which uh, you can unhide and then use the color correction effects in there to increase or decrease the overall brightness of the texture. And one last trick to show you that could be helpful uh, in this template and just when using After Effects in general, you can swap out the source of existing layers. So for example, in our grunge effect, we see this stained paper texture here. I'll double click it and you can see this is a dynamic texture that changes on every frame. And here are the images used. If we want to swap these out with a different paper texture, we can just select any other texture image up here. 
in the Paper Textures folder. And I'll also select the layer or layers that uh, we'll be replacing. And with everything selected, just hold down the Alt or Option key and drag the images from the project panel onto the layers. And that swaps the source of these layers, but it preserves all of the effects, uh, settings, and expressions on the layers. So that about does it. Best of luck to you all. These same effects are all part of the much larger template, Creation Artifacts. So if you like this stuff, you can go check that out. It has about 50 unique artifacts, so you can turn your video footage into animated artwork made in just about any medium that you want. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.